Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So in this video, we are going to show you how you can link your Excel files in SharePoint and use them as your data source in Power BI. So it can happen that you have this file in SharePoint and you want to use that as your data source for your report. So I'm going to show you two methods. One is the shortcut method, which you can use right away. And another one is a long cut version. Though it is a long cut version, it may work in some cases that I will mention later. So to start, first you should have access, of course, to the folder where the Excel file is. And then you have to click on that file and then there's this dot 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 beside it and then you can click on details and then once you click on details there's going to be a right side page that will show up and you have to scroll all the way down and you will notice that there's this path icon where it will show you a path address okay for this file so you can click that copy direct link and once you're there, you can then go to Power BI. And then once you are in Power BI, you then go to Get Data. And then under Get Data, you have to click on Web. And then you'll have to paste the path that you just copied from SharePoint. And you have to then click OK. Now, depending if you have access to your file right away, so it's possible that you have a problem with the login like this. So you may need to go and sign in again. And make sure that you're signing in with your correct username and password. Once that is done, you will see that there's a connect button here that is activated. So click that, and Power BI is now connecting to the SharePoint file. So as you can see, I already have here the table that I have in my SharePoint file. I will have to check it. And now I'm getting a preview of the file that I have in SharePoint. And from here, I could decide if I want to load it directly in Power BI or use Transform and go to Power Query. So Power Query will be discussed in a different video. So for now, I'll just click Load. And now we have our data being loaded in Power BI. And that's it. So we now have our table over here. And we can have a preview of that here in the table. And as you can see, we now have the table for, um, imported from SharePoint to Power BI. So that's the fastest method that you can use in order to link your uh, SharePoint Excel file to Power BI. Now, the second method is when you access your SharePoint files using your local Excel. Right now, I'm opening my Excel application and I could actually open my file in SharePoint from my recent list or you can go to open and then access your SharePoint, okay, using the file open dialog box. But for now, uh, I don't want to do that. I'll just go back here in my recent files and access the file that I have here. And it's opening in my local Excel file, in my local Excel application. As you can see, it's auto save, which is a sign that this file is in a cloud, in this case, SharePoint. And how can I? link my uh, file this excel file to sharepoint so i simply have to go to file then under file you have to go to info so under file and then info you can get the path okay the same path that you have in sharepoint by clicking this copy path button so i will click that and I will now go to my Power BI and go back to home and then get data again. And just like what I did a while ago, I have to use web. I will have to paste the URL that I got. Now there's one difference if you're going to go through this method of getting the data or the path from local Excel 
to Power BI. So you will notice that the copy path will give us this path, of course, but with this question mark web equals one at the end. That part of the URL has to be removed for our import to be successful. So just make sure that you remove that. Make sure that the last part of your path is the SLSX file type or SLS, whatever file type it is, and then click OK. So Power BI is now accessing it again. And I did not encounter any login whatsoever because I just logged in. If you notice that date and time that I recorded this video, so I just recently logged in, so I'm not being asked for any credentials, but take note that it may happen just like the first step wherein you have to log in to your SharePoint in order to proceed with this step. So now I just have to check the table or the worksheet that I want to get the data from and click load. Just like that, Power BI is loading the data from your SharePoint file to Power BI. And that method is when your SharePoint file is actually being accessed from a local Excel. So those are the two methods that you can use to link your Excel file from SharePoint, whether it is in the cloud or it is in the local, to Power BI. I hope that helped you. And if you have any questions, I'll try my best to answer it in the comment section. It would also be appreciated if you hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video.